up guys sir christopher here with another guide today we're going to be going over uh the holy spec for a priest my talents my runes uh consumes add-ons everything like that after my last uh guide video i got a lot of people asking me about that so we're just gonna make a little guide about what everything i got going on here uh if you guys wanted to copy it or just you know get, keep a get you a little informed about what to do and uh before we get into it though, I do want to thank you guys for all the support on my channel in the last couple of videos. I mean, I, I, it's awesome. And if you guys really do like this stuff, please like and subscribe because I am going to keep doing it. So let's just get into it though. First things first, we're going to uh, mention the current current gear. So um, I'm just going to take a look at the gear real quick that I got going on. Right now, uh, my gear score is sitting at about 312, which is pretty good. It could be better if I was getting more lucky with uh, raid gear, but I'm not. That's raid gear, raid gear. I uh, got my sergeant's cloak, robes. Um, I still got a green green bracers. Uh, the dagger of the wounding sacrifice is pretty good. I mixed it with the orb of mismantle. Orb of mismantle is uh, actually bought on the auction house. It's a pretty good uh, held in offhand. I got that uh, from the quest. This I got from PvP as well. That I did get from Raid. <clears throat> the Seal of Worm. So that's the gear right now currently. We're sitting at about 312 gear score and uh, 29 item level. Uh, honestly, I've lost. I've gotten very, very unlucky in my <laughs> BFTs. I've lost everything. I think I've seen the uh, staff drop two times. I've lost it both. I've seen the rabs, the robes drop a couple times. I've lost it and multiple others, but we're not going to get into that. So pretty unlucky. Um, but the next we're going to talk about uh, the runes. So I'm still missing two, but the other two are just uh, shadow runes or, you know, shadow priest runes. I'm not too worried about it. But what I like to rock on my chest, and this is mainly for holy. Um, I like to rock uh, serendipity. As you can see, it uh, uh, it'll increase your uh solo healing by immensely and also give you it'll stack and they'll make your uh casting abilities like your solo heals uh cast quicker and the more stacks you have the quicker it casts and etc it also gives you a speed bonus it's very helpful uh, my legs i like to go with uh prayer of mending <coughs> just because i am a holy priest and also prayer of mending is amazing it has a big description, but the best way I like to describe Prayer of Mending is uh, you put it on a tank or put it on someone who's getting attacked. And if when they get attacked, that Prayer of Mending procs and then it heals them. And that Prayer of Mending will jump to another person and heal them if they get attacked. So it keeps jumping. It's really good for AoE damage, uh, good for tanks. And honestly, the, the mana cost is really low for Prayer of Mending. And we'll get into that with the uh, part of the rotation and stuff like that as we go on with this video. But that's what I like to rock on my legs and hands. Hands, this is the controversial one because a lot of people like penance. Me personally, I like circle of healing. And I will get into why I do like circle of healing a lot more than penance. <clears throat> penance is really good for single target, but circle of healing can, can save raids. If, you're, if you know what you're doing with circle of healing, it can save raids. So, uh, that, that's my runes right now. Um, let's go to talents. I'll show you guys what I got in my talents. I have one in improved renew. Um, and when we go to, when I start talking about rotation and stuff like that, we'll definitely, uh, I'll be, you know, talking about some of the talents as well, but this is mainly what I'm doing for my uh, talents right now. And this is for phase one. This could all change for phase two, what, you know, whatever, wh whatever, you know, happens as it keeps going to new phases. So this is what I got for now. I got one in Improved Renew. I got five in the Holy Specialization. And remember, this this build, well, this build is more of a single target um, healing build, build. But I like to add Circle of Healing and Prayer of Mending for my AoE spells. So, th But the critical effect chance affects your AoE spells too. So don't worry too much about you know, uh, don't worry too much about only soul, like single target healing. You definitely want to uh, throw AOE heals out with this build. Uh, Divine Fury, reduce the casting time of your holy uh, of your smite, holy fire, and heal and greater heal spells. That's pretty simple. Holy Nova, honestly, I just put it there. Um, 
you rarely use Holy Nova. I mean, I think the thing costs way too much mana. I mean, 185 mana for, I mean, Prayer of Mending 74. If you're out there ho spamming Holy Novas, good luck to you. Um, but I just get, I get one in it for, you know, reasons. Inspiration. Inspiration is going to be your biggest talent that, other than the one with crit, this one, uh, your Holy Specialization. And I'm sure this it'll change, but right now inspiration is going to be one of your best talents to get in. As you can see, um, when you get have three out of three in inspiration, when you heal a target and it crits, when you heal a target and it crits, it will give them uh, it'll increase their armor, the target's armor that you just crit healed by 25%. And I'm telling you, it's massive. Like the amount of times I've got a crit heal off, and then I'll see how much damage they're doing. To the tank it's way less when that buff is on them and then uh at the bottom i just got one in improved healing that's just uh you know your healing spells and stuff like that talents are pretty simple i mean this is uh i just got 16 straight into holy this is pretty simple but like i said when it comes to rotation i'll explain a little bit more about inspiration here because that's your big one in this right now in your talent tree inspiration is going to be your big one this is a, a very important talent to have as a holy priest we're going to exit out of that. So next we're going to talk about uh, the rotation. <clears throat> and I got my lovely wife here who is AFK. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about the rotation. When you're, uh, if like imagine this person is a tank or tanking. And uh, I'll get into the UI, what I got set up. We will get into that. But first I just want to show you about, you know, how I do rotation if this person was tanking. So, um... You know the runes come in really really heavily here so if this let's say this person was getting uh tank or was tanking and there was one person on them what you want to start out doing is just hitting them with lesser heals you're just going to hit them with lesser heals you don't want to overheal off the uh, right off the rip because you want to save a lot of your mana in case you need to use a circle of healing that is going to be your like oh shit button you need an oh shit button Circle of Healing is going to be your oh shit button. So just start off, when, if, right when they pull, start off maybe casting a lesser heal, right? You know, you're just getting, oh, I, I'm casting myself. You know, start off with a lesser heal. Just get them a little healed like that. And then uh, once they start taking damage damage, that's when you're going to start using your flash heals. And every time, look, you get, every time you heal with a lesser heal or a flash heal, you get serendipity procs. You have a chance to get a serendipity proc. And look, I, I get a little speed bonus, and it it, uh, it makes the next uh, heal of prayer of healing or whatever is reduced by twenty percent. So it's very important to have uh, to notice whenever your procs are going off as well. Um, so yeah, they're getting attacked. You know, maybe it starts getting more intense. Your flash healing, your lesser healing, and uh, let's say that boss does a massive like cleave attack that does hits everybody, hits the tank, hits everybody. Well, the reason you're starting off with a lesser heal or a, a flash heal is because whenever that, whenever the big damage comes out, that's when you want to click and your oh shit button, circle of healing. That will heal. Right here it says group one. If there, there's going to be five people in group one, when you click that circle of healing, it will heal everybody in that group. Only in a party group though, not the raid, just the group. So if everyone in that group gets smacked, then you press your circle of healing and it will heal everyone. And it's a big heal. The circle of healing heals 262 to almost to 300, uh, you know, health. And we don't have a whole lot of health right now. So circle of healing is huge. It's mana. Uh, it's really mana costly though. You got to be careful with that. So one of the best things about, um, circle of healing though, um, is, it has a chance of also critting so on everyone so that will proc in turn that will proc an inspiration on somebody if they get hit with that uh crit heal from circle of healing so that's a big one to have so whenever you press your oh shit button of circle of healing there's a chance you're also putting a 25 percent armor buff on them that's huge right now and it's everybody in the party. Not, not everybody doesn't get the, but you know, if you get hit with the crit, it's everybody in, it's, it's the person that gets hit with the crit that gets the buff, but everybody in the party gets healed for your oh shit button. 
And so, so okay, let's let's uh, rewind a little bit. You know, we're doing lesser heals. We're getting serendipity procs. We're doing flash heals. You hit your oh shit button. You notice the, but you notice maybe you're getting low on health or mana, right? You're getting low on mana. That's when you want to start throwing out your prayer amendings. And, and even if this doesn't bounce that much, and it, it may not, maybe it's just single target damage. It's still, it's still a really good heal for when they get attacked. It's a good heal for them to have. So when you're running low on mana, prayer amending is really good to use to, uh, to sustain your mana. So that's probably when I'll start hitting a, a lot of lesser heals, a lot of prayer amendings. And I'll be honest, guys, this build, you're not going to use any of your power ward shields. You're ne you're almost never going to use your shield. And I, honestly, uh, I mean, this is a, a holy build, but your, your shield right now is very, unless you are a disciplined priest, it's very ineffective. Uh, and also your renew. Your renew is 105 mana, and that's not a lot of. I mean, it, it's it's a 183 damage uh, heals for 183 over 15 seconds. That's not that big. So, like your prayer amending does 150 right when they get attacked, and it's only 74 mana. So think of it this way: if you're throwing out renews, you're gonna be spending way more mana than throwing out prayer amendings. So whenever you're starting to get low on mana, lesser heals, prayer and mendings, lesser heals and prayer and mendings are going to be huge, but you want to keep your flash heals as well. And then your circle of healing. I'll be honest, guys, that's going to be, and, and then your big heal, you always have your big heal. Your big heal is best to use whenever, uh, whenever the tank is super low and you have stacks of serendipity. If you have like two to three stacks of serendipity and you use your big heal, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna proc as fast as a flash, a regular flash heal, because those serendipity stacks makes the cast time reduced. So a big heal can be cast way quicker when you have more of those serendipity procs. So be aware of that. So, the, but that's gonna be your rotation. Start off really slow with lesser heals, then into like some flash heals. You maybe throw a prayer amending. You know, oh look, you see that it procs right there. When, whenever you see that little uh, shield, that means it procs. I just crit healed her. So start off slow. You know, d don't use your power ward shields. Don't use a renew here. I'm telling you, rarely use those spells as a holy holy priest. Um, you know, start off slow. Lesser heals, flash heals. Uh, oh shit button is gonna be your sor circle of healing. Um, and then once it starts getting really close, you're losing your mana. You want to throw some prayer mendings out, lesser heals and focus more on, uh, focus more on mana efficiency in these raids right now than, uh, than doing the most healing in the party. Uh, that's what your circle of healing is for. If it gets to that point and you need to heal the whole party, circle of healing that's your oh shit button that is the one that's going to save your raid and that's why i like to keep it there i mean because i feel like i i do enough single target healing i don't need penance right now i don't need penance i do enough i got three different heals i got my big heal i got my flash heal and i got my lesser heal and with serendipity uh it starts procking or it starts stacking it makes those casts way shorter i don't right now i don't need penance to really put that much health into one person, but that's the rotation I would suggest as a, uh, holy priest right now. Sorry. Uh, I, I know I went on, a, I, I went on talking about it, but it's very important. That is my rotation. That's what I do. So let's go on to the next thing though. Uh, we'll go to basic consumables for raids right here. And I'm going to move my, I'm going to move my face. If I can one second, let's move my face over your basic consumables here. I mean, this stuff is real, real simple. I mean, I even use lesser mana pots right now. I think the big mana pots are just way too expensive. I, I'm not balling. I don't have many alts. I'm, I'm pretty lazy. I mean, hell, even with uh, my gear, I don't even have the spider silk boots. I honestly, I'm a lazy gamer, dude. So I, I can be lazy. I'm just waiting for, uh, waiting for gear to drop for me in BFD. What can I say? But basic consumes, uh, you're going to be always have shadow protection potions for BFD. Um, if you can get the scroll of spirits, be careful. They like to, you know, people like to put them on the market for like a thousand gold and that people accidentally buy them. Scroll of spirit two, um, get your heavy crocolis stew and uh, black fathom mana oil. That's the big one, guys. If you get the black fathom mana oil and the shadow protection pot, you're pretty much good. 
food bonus is a bonus, uh, scrolls a bonus. Um, and it goes without saying, always keep your fort up, always keep your inner fire up if you can. Um, but yeah, mana pot, shadow protection pot, and black fathom uh, mana oil is going to be your big ones. Food bonus, scrolls, eh, not so crazy. Um, so we already did kind of talk about uh, the uh, raid bosses, about the crit chance of uh, circle of healing and the inspiration proc you get from the talents. Um, so let's go on and talk about add-ons in my setup because I know a lot of you guys were curious about that. So when it comes to my add-ons and my setup here, um, right here, I have my heal bot. Healbot I've been using forever. Uh, I've been I've been playing World of Warcraft for almost I mean I think 14 years when it came out. I, I don't even know anymore. I've been playing it forever. So I in every ever since I've been using Healbot. Healbot is so easy to operate. I love it. I mean look at this. So all this may look daunting. It's really not. You just go to spells, and right here you can just see where. Uh, and I'm a clicker. I know it's a, it's a sin in World of Warcraft to be a clicker, but I am, um, right here, uh, you know, you just put the spell you want in, that's my, that's left click, my middle click, right click, uh, mouse button four, which is like on the side of your mouse, mouse button five, I don't even have one for, so let's say you get too many, you know, you have more spells, well, that's where I go to shift, now this is shift click, so that's, you know, all I gotta do is hold shift down with my pinky while I'm playing, and then I get my and then i hold shift and my left click does a different ability it does circle of healing uh, my middle shift click does heal and my uh, right shift click does flash of heal this is like the main thing you're gonna mess with with healbot guys and i just love the way it looks uh if you were to set it up and download it instantly you know uh i take like the general if i were you i take off uh i'm not sure where it is but i take off the uh the target right here maybe frames it's somewhere uh sometimes whenever you target someone it'll pop up like here on the side it'll say like oh your target's health i take that off i hate it it's very annoying um the next one we got is decursive and you guys were probably curious about this one this one is very very this one's amazing you don't even have to mess with the ui on this and if anyone's ever wondering how you move the decursive because you'll see these little boxes you hold alt right next to your space bar and left click it and you can move it. I like it right above my heel box, but decursive literally all if, if I got, if, the, if uh, Snowflower got hit with a curse, all I have to do, click the box. See, it says nothing to dispel that's cure. And then, uh, so you can do, it'll automatically do your dispel and your cure disease. If your left click is going to be your dispel, your right click is going to be your cure disease. So and all you do is click the box. You don't have to target anyone. You don't have to go to heal bot to do it. You literally just left, right click, left, right click until that thing, that box is empty. That's the cursive. It's an amazing add on. Um, if you're wondering about UI, I'll just go through a quick little thing about my UI. Uh, Cause I like it. I like uh, seeing like their cast bars and stuff like that. Um, it's called shadowed unit frames. And to open it, all you do is uh, enter slash S U F. And it'll open shadow unit frames. And when uh, you, you open this, what you can do, <coughs> and like I said, a lot of these add-ons look daunting. Oh, here, let me, uh, let me move my face a little bit so you guys can see. Oops, I'll put it down here. So when you, uh, you, know, you go here, you always the main ones you're going to play, play with are going to be player and target. Player and target. These are going to be the big ones you're going to mess with. Because look, on the player, I can make it... Uh, I can make my portrait enabled, disabled, enabled, enabled, not, you know, frame. I can make it bigger. I can make it huge. I can make it normal. Um, this is the impor important one for me, though. I like to see the cast bars in the top. Like when, I, when I'm fighting someone or if, I, if I'm fighting, you know, uh, I want to see their cast bars. I want to see what they're throwing at me. So I'll have uh, cast bars enabled so I can see the cast, but I'll also have it uh, hidden. So when I'm not casting a bar, I don't have something there. But when I start casting it, you'll see it. So uh, that's important for me. I just like that. It's a little uh, quality of life. Same with the target. Like you see the target. I have the target uh, a little bit bigger than my party people, you know, my party members and stuff like that. It's just quality of life. Cast bar enabled, hide bar. I always have those enabled. 
And really, those are the only ones I really mess with the shadow unit frames. I think it's just quality. I like seeing the numbers too. It shows me exactly how much mana and health I have. Um, yeah, that's shadow unit frames here. Uh, we're gonna and then uh, deadly boss mods. If you're if you play World of Warcraft, you know uh, you know deadly boss mods. It's been around for ages. It's definitely uh, something you need if you're raiding. D DBM's awesome. Um, I, there's really not much I can say to it. Like when you're in a raid, the best way to show it, show you is to like download it. Just go to a raid or a dungeon, and it'll start showing like uh, little things pop up, and it'll generally pop up right here. So it'll pop up right here, and then I got like you know my party here. I got decursive here, and I got I got uh, you know deadly boss mods going off here. So it's a good little setup. I like it right here. It's like a nice little. Uh, like a nice little setup here. I like that. Um, and the last one, the last add on that I think is like quality of life too, uh, is uh, the taco tip gear score. It just shows your gear overall gear score, like right here when you click on your character. It shows gear score of items, uh, you know, what's better than the, uh, you know, what's better. It's some items are obviously better than other items, but it'll also show you the items that technically have the best gear score. So, and that, that would be taco tip. Um, but yeah, that's all my add-ons. That's my, uh, my, uh, all my add-ons and my rotation, my healing stuff and all that good jazz. Um, I want to say thank you guys for all the support. Seriously. Thank you for all the support. Um, if you like what you're seeing, if you like the guides, please follow, please, well, follow, please like, and subscribe. That's the inner Twitch, but <laughs> Please like and subscribe. I will be making more of these. I love making videos for you guys. It has been awesome. I mean, my first video I really made has all, like really put a whole lot of effort into, you know, has almost 2,000 views. And that's awesome. I've been trying to uh, get on YouTube and Twitch for years. I have, I still have, uh, you know, a Twitch achievement from seven years ago when I was trying there, when I got my first follower on Twitch. But, you know, I think, uh, I think YouTube's going to be my big move here. Um, but yeah, if you guys like what you see, uh, if you like uh, my channel, please like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. So Christopher out.